The UI Element Collection in Microsoft Power Automate Desktop is a nice way to share UI elements in a library, and then you can reuse it across flows. To get started, you go up to UI Elements up here, and here we have a collection. Let's start adding UI elements to that collection, and then we will reuse it across flows, and we will also see how we are using the collection in a solution. First of all, let's build a basic flow. This flow will open up a web page. So I drag in a new Microsoft Edge. Let's navigate to anasjensen.org, a really nice homepage. Then we run the flow and this will open up this web page. Now add a few clicks and these clicks will be centered around two UI elements, UI elements that we will reuse. So I go up here and then I find a click link on web page and drag it in. Normally we just create a UI element. So we do that as well here. Let's click on courses first and let's add a, another UI element. So we click courses and then we want to click e-learning. Yes, we could have gotten there probably by the UIL, but this demo is all about the UI elements. Now I have two UI elements. And if we want to see this automation in action, it's basically just opening up the page, page clicking courses, clicking e-learning. That's it. Now I want to publish this to a collection. So I go over to UI elements in Power Automate Desktop. Here I will select both elements or all elements in this flow. I go over here to the three dots and publish as a new collection. Here we can give our collection a name. I will probably just say anasjensen.org homepage elements or something like that. I can also choose to auto update this flow. So I create a connection with this flow and the collection. So each time we update the collection, this flow will also be updated. Usually I check this and hit publish. That will publish the new UI elements. Now we're ready to reuse this. Imagine that you have like 20 flows that uses this collection. Then it's nice that we only have to update it once, for example, if the UI changes and not in 20 flows. So to simulate that, I'll close this flow. I will save it and then we will create a new flow. Here, I will just say new flow and we will call this one Anasjensen Org. We can just say homepage nav or something like that. This is our new flow. Here again, I want to use a launch new edge to launch a browser. And then we want to import the collection. So to do so, I go over in UI elements. You can see this flow repository and collections is of course empty. But if I go up to the three dots here, I can say import collection. And here you will find the newly created collection. If I say add here, I will need to select if I'm going to use this in a desktop solution like here, or if I have an open uh, VM or Citrix solution, I can use that as well. But here we will use it on the computer. Then I can close this. And now you will see that we have the UI elements. You can also see this little gray arrow over here. If we make changes to the UI elements, we can publish this to the collection and then this arrow will turn black. Let's first use these UI elements though. So I go over and then I find a launch new Microsoft Edge and I drag it in. Here again, let's go, just go to anasjensen.org. Now I can reuse the elements. So what I do here could be a click link on web page again. And I will not go to the flow repository and add the UI element. I can just go to collections and then I can find the first element that was to click the courses, click select here. And similarly, I just find this UI element 
in the collection. I can't see I can see the UI elements name when I hover the mouse over, so it's a little bit more easy to see. And I also have the preview. But when you use a collection, it is important that you give your UI elements a great name, a name that says something about the UI element, then it's a lot easier to use. And it's also a best practice. I can do that by simply just right clicking and say rename. Now I can run and inspect this flow. So this is nice. I don't have to update these UI elements across flows. Let's talk about how we update elements. So if I go here and I say, well, I need to update a UI element, then we talked about I don't need to do it in 20 flows because we have this library of UI elements. I just needed to do it once. I can do it in any of the flows that is connected to the UI element collection. I simply just go over here and then in collections. Let's say I want to update this UI element. I can double click to open it. Navigate the selected tree and here I just pick an attribute. Don't worry uh, about this attribute, probably not needed here for this selector because it's very stable. But let's say I update it with something. Then you will observe that, observe that this goes from gray to black. So if I do that, you'll now see that we have a change. I can choose to publish that by clicking this arrow. Now it will say, do you want to update the collection? This will update collection. So if I make changes, I can choose to say, well, update the entire collection, then all the other flows that use this collection will now have the updated element. Then I can also add a UI element. I could use another click link, but I can also just add a UI element up here. So here I take a UI element. Let's just take the consulting, press control and add that. And then I say done. Now you will see that it's created over here in the flow repository and not in the collections. That is, you can create UI elements that is not a part of the collection. If you want that, that will probably make sense when you want to group these things. But I can also choose to add this. I simply just um, click the three dots and use to publish as a new collection or add to the imported collection. Then I just again say which collection I want to add it to. I do this. I also want to have this flow updated. So if someone else or me update this UI element in another flow in the collection, then I want to update this flow as well. I hit add. And that's it. I will publish everything here. So first I add and then I publish. That's it. That's how easy it is to use. I probably also want to distribute these flows or move them between environments that can be dev, test or prod. So for that, we use a solution here in Power Automate Desktop or Power Automate. So what I want to do is to go to Power Automate Cloud here, and then I will go to solutions. Let's create a new solution and see how we can work with these UI element collections. So they will be a part of a solution. And by the way, if you want to learn all these best practices around Power Automate desktop development, then I created a very advanced Power Automate desktop course, six hours plus taking you to everything. Anyway, we will create a new solution. We can give our solution a name and a display name. Let's just call it demo collection here. I'll just select a default publisher. We'll take this one and I'll hit create. Now we have a solution. If I want to add a UI element collection to this solution, that is, I want to add a, an existing um, collection, then I say add existing. I say more and I go to other and then I find desktop flow module, which is here. Now you can see that I have the UI element collection here. And I simply just say add. And the collection will be added to the solution. That's it. Let's again, just move all of this. So I'll just remove from the solution. I can also 
add UI, a UI element collection to a solution if I already have the desktop flow. And if I see the desktop flow, that was what I called homepage nav on the Jensen org. I can't remember if I saved it. We need to save it to have it showing up in the Power Automate Cloud. I think I did, but now we're safe. Then first, let's add the desktop flow. So I go up to Add Existing. Then I go to Automation, go to Desktop Flow. And here I will find the Anders Jensen org homepage nav. Then I click Add. So right now, the UI element collection, the library is not added to the solution. If I want that, it's very easy. I find the desktop flow, we have it here. Then I click the three dots. I click advanced and then I say add required objects. Then I say OK. And in 10 seconds, you will see that the elements is getting added to this solution. Now you want to take this full advanced PowerTomate desktop course teaching you all the best practices.